what's poppin everybody i know this is my 16th trillionth time doing this intro already uh you guys didn't hear it because obviously i'm not gonna put it in but yeah i, I don't know how to do this intro so leave your suggestions down below because i i don't know what to do this is like my 16,000 times recording this video anyway uh yeah we're gonna be telling a story about how basically i fell out of a boat on a camp out it was it was a doozy I don't know what that word means, but I think that's how you use it. Shout out to Will Brain for giving me this idea. He is like a bro to me. He's been watching the videos, I think, probably, or maybe he just saw that one. But he still gave me an idea, and that makes him awesome. Thank you, buddy. So, yeah, uh, I won't be holding this up any longer. So, uh, let's just get into the video. Woo! So, I do Boy Scouts, okay? I'm in Boy Scouts. You know, I'm pretty boss at it, you know? I was getting ready, and we were about to go on this camp out where we were going to go canoeing, and I was hyped. Right from the start that we get to the Grand Old Cow River, things are already going poorly. It is raining so dang hard. Like, you know, it's raining not cats and dogs, not dogs and dogs, but cows and cows. It's raining cows and cows on the Cow River, okay? It is absolutely awful. My poncho needs a poncho, needs a poncho, needs a poncho just to stay dry. And even then, I'm not sure if it would be. The inside, outside, inside, middle side, every side of my body was completely soaked. It was raining so hard. And on top of that, it was kind of cold out. It was like 75 degrees, okay? When you're that cold, I'm that wet, and it's cold out. It's not that cold, yes, but I know it was kind of cold there when you're that wet. You know, it was just not good. But, you know, we're just going to tough through it like the little Boy Scouts we are. How are we going to be cool like leadership people if we can't handle a little rain and dying of hyperthermia? Am I right? So, yeah, we all... We all pair up. I get put with, um, we're going to be calling him Mr. Tim. So I get, he's a kid, don't worry. <laughs> I get paired up with Mr. Tim, and we get in our little boat. I go in the front. He goes in the back. He's he's like the, he's the pusher on the steer, you know. I ain't got time to be using my muscles, okay? I play Fortnite. I don't got no muscles, okay? So it's all him that's pushing us forward, and I'm just steering. Uh, I didn't play Fortnite back then because this was like in sixth grade. So, yeah, we're going down the river. It's still raining like crazy. For some reason, I brought sunscreen. I don't know why. It's just sitting at the bottom of the boat. Why is it there? I don't know, but it just is there, okay? We, we can't do anything about it. It's just staying there. That sunscreen is going to get wet, and it's going to stay wet. So, yeah, we're going down the river. We're about two miles down. It's still cold, but, you know, I've gotten used to it at this point. Now, you got to know, we weren't very good at this whole canoeing thing, okay? You got to know, we were just little sixth graders. Me and Mr. Tim, we were just little sixth graders going down 26 miles down the Great Cow River. You know, it, it was just, we were in the back. Like, you know, there were the good kids in the front, the middle kids in the middle, and the bad kids in the back, okay? And we were right up back there. We were literally, like, in the very back. Last place in the race, we couldn't get blue-shelled, okay? We would get rocketed. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a bad Mario Kart joke. But yeah, that's basically where we were. We were in the back with the adults and older kids, okay? Because, you know, all the older kids sit in the back because the back is the coolest spot. If you sit in the back, you're just so cool. So yeah, we're just uh, continuing going down. It's really pretty. I learned about this stand that uh, people would stand on and shoot at the bottom of your canoe. And uh, I asked him why to do that. And he said, well, uh, if they have good aim, you'll be fine. And uh, hopefully they won't hit you. And I'm like, but why do they do that? To practice their aim. Well, why are they practicing their aim on us? Isn't there like targets or something? He might have been lying. Please, someone confirm that. But I'm, I don't think that's right. I don't think they just shoot at you from this little stand while you're going down the river. That does not sound safe. But, yeah, eventually uh, we, we get bored, you know. We're all just going down the river like five miles down. It's not that long. We're not even a fourth of the way down yet. And already people are starting to get bored. So the older kids come up with the great idea of doing a water fight. Now, if you don't know what a water fight is on a canoe, it's pretty simple. You grab the oar, you put it up, put it up almost vertical. Like, no, the paddle side, the paddle side vertical. You hold it like sideways. Okay, I'm really bad at explaining this. Okay, let's start over. You grab it, like lay it down on your boat, okay, sideways across your lap. You pick it up, and you make sure the oar side, the little flipper, is facing upwards, okay? And then you slam it against the water as hard as you can, almost completely like upwards, 
almost completely upwards, and it should make a big blast of water. I'm really bad at explaining it, but hopefully that gave you an idea. So yeah, they were doing that, and it gets a pretty big splash. Now, I mean, we were already super wet because it's still raining cows at this point, but I mean, it's kind of annoying when someone splashes water in your face every five seconds. Like, the older kids are getting in fights, and somehow we're getting roped into it, and then there's this one group of three on a canoe, okay? They got uh, two 10th graders and, like, a 6th grader like us. He was actually my friend. So, yeah, basically, they were splashing us, and, and little 6th grade me... I wasn't having that, okay? It was making me angry. So I came up with the brilliant idea of insulting them, you know? And the insult I said, well, feel free to take it if you want. It'll automatically win any argument. I don't make the rules, but, you know, that's just how it works. This insult is so good that, I mean, it's just impossible to lose any argument, no matter who it is, if you use this. Okay, you ready for it? You ready? I called them. A squirrel. I know it's absolutely insane. I called them a squirrel. I cannot believe it. I was calling them a female squirrel. I don't know why I said that, but that's what I said. Okay, and I, and they did not like that. I don't know why, but maybe they just didn't enjoy being a squirrel. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't enjoy being a squirrel either. That's why it's the best insult because nobody likes squirrels. Okay. So, yeah, I was calling them a squirrel. They were getting angry. They kept slashing us. And uh, this went on for a little while, maybe like 10, 10, 15, 15, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, and so on. Uh, maybe minutes later, we got to this little island, okay? There's this little island thing, and it was kind of like uh, a fork in the road. And uh, this little island thing, uh, we got pretty close to it when we were canoeing past it. And I'm not really sure how. We were a little bit ahead of them at this point, trying to get away from them. But we turn around and see them, and hear them scream, and we look behind us, and there they are. Their boat is capsizing, and they're falling in the water. Now, like I said, there was a little island there, so they didn't fall that deep in, like maybe waist deep, and they just walked over the island. But we thought it was so funny, we literally turned around, went towards them, and started laughing at them. Like, we were doing Fortnite Take the L dances and everything. Like, come on. They were splashing us, and now this was sweet, sweet karma. We were screaming at them that's karma for you karma for you you little you little squirrel and they were getting so mad they were literally steaming like the rain was evaporating before it even hit them from how angry they were that we were calling them squirrels fortnite dancing on them because they capsized now i mean the water wasn't like big currents it wasn't dangerous or anything they just kind of it, like, it was more of a mild annoyance than oh no our boat is capsizing but not where i've fallen oh no the, i don't know what happened whatever happened to the nice calm cow river whoosh, that's out of there now it's a big angry a uh, bull river that's what we're calling it yeah the, the crazy bull river um, but yeah, we keep going down. They're pretty angry at us. Their boat's capsized. They're even more wet than before, even though they were already fully submerged in water, which I mean, it was raining cows. Um, th they were a little bit more wet, and honestly, I thought that was so funny. That is karma for you. If you ever need help in life, just get karma to come and help you out. Say, bro, karma, hey, I man, I need help with this thing really fast. Could you help me with it? And, and the karma will go, oh, sure, bro, I'll help you with this, and then he'll come down. Uh, the karma, karma is not a person, wait a minute, yeah, karma will come and it'll say, all right, here you go, and then karma, boom, they'll, they'll fall in, and, and that's basically how it works, 10 out of 10, that's basically how it does, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules about this kind of stuff, I just, like, I just utilize them and make sure that it works for me, so yeah, they got hit by the karma, we were laughing at them, Fortnite dancing, doing all the stuff, you know, we were, we were being, we were being little meanie squirrel heads, okay? We were being the squirrels. We had become what we swore to destroy, okay? So uh, they were they weren't having it, but you know what? Well, what were they gonna do? Splash us? I mean, we're already soaking wet, and they know that that's gonna get old fast. So they gotta come up with something else to do. So we're going down maybe like 10 minutes later and uh, we get to this little thing and there's this tree that's like kind of falling over into the lake like it's a big obstacle like if you're playing one of those swiping games where you gotta swipe to dodge the obstacles we had to like swipe left to dodge this one like it was almost covering all of it so yeah. We were getting closer to this thing, and we were like, oh my gosh, this ain't gonna be pretty if we do end up hitting this. Now, that's foreshadowing right there. from Learn about it in your homework or something. But yeah, we get closer and closer to this tree. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. I mean, what's gonna happen? It's not like I'm gonna hit it. So yeah, uh, I'm not really sure why, but I started looking back. I can't really remember why. It was like two years ago. 
But yeah, we're just going towards the tree. I don't know, remember why, but we were like sitting backwards, just staring at things. Maybe we were talking about life or uh, how there was this pedestal that apparently people would shoot at canoes in. I know it's strange. Uh, I will get back to that. But yeah, that's pretty. I don't know why it was kind of my fault. But yeah, we basically very gently get pressed up against this tree. Okay, like it was. It was in the water. It was a pretty big tree and. Uh, its branch was basically what's holding us like it wasn't in the water okay I, i'm kind of confusing you with my descriptions of it so let me tell you what it looks like uh basically it was a big tree that was leading out over into the lake and it had its branches were coming down okay its branches were coming down and we got stopped on its branches now these weren't normal like small twigs no these were big branches like actual branches they weren't the huge ones that like are impossible to bend they weren't limbs okay they were just branches pretty thick branches like they weren't twigs but they weren't they they weren't little uh they weren't limbs okay so they're like good medium-sized branches like you can bend them still but you can't you aren't breaking them okay you aren't breaking them so yeah uh we get gently pushed up against this like the current is pushing us towards it and we just kind of nuzzle against the wall and we're just kind of stuck there so yeah we're like oh we can get out of this easily so we go to grab our uh things our little oars we had them on the ground we pick them up we turn and we look to the left and there comes the other guys so the ones we were calling squirrels and were spashing us charging towards our canoe as they slam into it and we go flying into the branches even more like you know uh the branches like i said they wouldn't turn so we kind of get pushed into them and kind of rotate to the side towards them like our boat is about to do a 180 okay we're like leaning towards them because they shoved us up to it and our boat basically like tilts towards them because it can't go anywhere and uh, they keep shoving us in and like laughing at us and uh, I get pinned down by one of the branches okay like we're getting pushed back yes but not as much as we're tilting and I'm not really sure how but one of the branches had me pinned down like holding my chest and I was basically stuck there it was not it was not fun let me tell you so yeah I was stuck there panicking because I'm very very claustrophobic and I know it wasn't exactly a small space but I hate whenever I get restrained like it's terrifying so I was scared then so yeah it's pinning my chest down the water, uh, I was basically laying on my side at this point, and the water was up to about my shoulder, so I was worried that pretty soon I was going to get drowned by this canoe, because these kids were so mad that we called them a squirrel. So yeah, uh, eventually they do get out, and they just kind of laugh and walk, and uh, canoe away. And uh, we're like, oh my god, now we can try and get out of here. So we're pushing, we almost get it out, like we're pushing, we're rocking back and forth. I mean, the best I can do is like wiggle in place, but you know, I'm trying to get us out, and we slowly, we're, we're getting there. And then guess what happens? Another freaking people come and hit us! Like, where did they even come from? We were in the back, okay? And another group somehow came and slammed into us with just as much force as the other guys. Where were they? We were back at the with the adults, like in the very back. Where were they? How did they slam into us? So yeah, they slam into us and push us even farther in. And at this point, the, the boat gives up. It's like, no, I'm out of here. This is stupid. And it just does a 180, and uh, I get fall in the water. So yeah, the branch didn't stop me from falling in. It basically just let go of me once the boat decided to leave. So yeah, the boat's still stuck, but my friend, my friend, I think I called him Mr. Tim. What did I call him? I, I recorded this video in two parts. I don't remember what I called him, but my boatmate, Mr. who we're going to be calling Mr. Tim, because I can't remember what I called him. But uh, yeah, Mr. Tim, uh, he was still in the boat somehow, and he was just watching me. It's a super, super strong current just whips me away. Like, if you think currents are strong in the top of the water, guys... It's twice as hard underneath. I didn't even know that was a thing until now. I'm like, oh, this is just a small current. I'll be able to get up like these other guys. Nope. Whoosh, gone in like an instant. Like, I'm flying down this river with n nothing but a life jack to hold me up. Like, I've got a poncho on and everything. It's like restraining my legs. Like, I was panicking. I thought I might drown, okay? So, I'm flying down the river at, like, record speeds. And uh, there's this other boat of the, uh, the people. Uh, they weren't the people that splashed us or the people that hit us again. They were another group of friends. Uh, they were like our age. So they were sixth graders too. And they turn the boat and uh, one kid reaches out and grabs my hand. It's like bang into their boat. Okay. So like I'm coming towards them. They turn their boat sideways to get the largest chance of hitting me. And then they reach out their hand and they grab me 
pull me up against the boat, and I go boom, and I slam into the boat. But I'm not hurt. I'm perfectly fine, okay? I'm just up against this boat in the cold water with the current pushing me down. Like, to know how strong it was, I couldn't keep myself straight in the water. Like, literally, it was pushing my legs up so much that I was basically, like, hugging the boat, okay? Because that's how strong it was pushing my legs up. Okay, so it's a pretty strong current. Now, I was trying to get back in the boat, but being a weak sixth grader and how strong the current was, I couldn't get up. I just could not. So, uh, we had to get the adults to come and basically, like, drag the boat over there. That was pretty deep here. I'd say, like, six feet, seven feet. So, it wasn't, it wasn't the deepest, but it was pretty deep, like, where we couldn't touch. So, they had to kind of, like, push us back with, like, the canoe. And, uh, we did get back to the beach, okay? It wasn't, like, one of those islands. No, it was literally just a side. And I was able to get off to the shore. Like, I never got in their boat. I just, like, kind of held on until we got to the beach. I was able to get out, go onto the beach. Wipe off my pants, even though they were wet before this all happened. Try and get all the all the lily lily pads out of my pants, you know, and just try and recover from that and not have PTSD. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, that was crazy. I almost drowned. And they're like, yeah, luckily they catch you. Although I doubt it would have drowned because I had a life jacket on and I didn't know it at the time, but I was actually in like the white water rafting position. Because recently I went in another camp out where I went white water rafting where I have a similar story, which I'm going to tell later. But uh, yeah, apparently I was in the right position for that. I was laying on my back and uh, I was like putting my feet out so that way I don't slam into something. So even if I wasn't in the right position, I probably wouldn't have died. Like it wasn't that big a river, but this one spot did have pretty fast currents, okay? I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, I do get in back in the boat, you know, it's all pretty good, and uh, Mr. Tim comes over, he's my, he's my buddy in the boat, remember, he's not an adult, he's a sixth grader, I don't know why I call him Mr. Tim, but, uh, yeah, he comes over, and he's like, oh, man, thank goodness, uh, our boat is kind of, kind of full of passengers, and I'm like, what do you mean they're it's full of passengers so i look into the boat and wouldn't you guess that there's tons of creatures in there there's lizards spiders there's everything you can want there's like seaweed I'm like how did all this stuff get into the boat like there were tons of little critters in there and they were just all over the place we had to spend like a 10 minutes trying to clean out our boat and even then we didn't get all of it out but at this point i was just so tired and i was like who cares if there's stuff in the boat Let's just finish this. We still had like 10 miles to go. We hadn't even eaten lunch yet. We had a lot to go. And uh, I was just shivering the whole way down. Now, nothing really big eventful happened after that. We just kind of went down the river. I talked to my friend. The rain eventually did stop right around the end. And it was a pretty, it was a pretty fun trip. I would do it again. I just hope that that won't happen again. And the weather will not kill me. And that sunscreen... That sunscreen I left in the boat, yeah, it that wet sunscreen, it somehow stayed in the boat that entire time. Even with the boat flipping over, that sunscreen stayed in, and it's still there to this day. Probably, I left it in the boat by accident, but it was still there. I checked as we got out. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty crazy story. Uh, that was my failed camp out. Thank you again to Will Braden for suggesting it. Sorry if I talk differently in each of these videos. Uh, not in these videos two halves because uh right when they started splashing me i had to cancel uh cut it like there and record it then again the next day so yeah this is day two of recording this video but uh yeah make sure to leave your suggestions for ideas in the comments it's really helpful thank you will Braden. make sure to join the team mana discord and i'll see you all later goodbye